Yo, stand up, Sam. There's a pair of sex isolo. That I cannot forget it. And even Jenna Manji, I'm still thinking about it. Whereby, Nafar and Jay Pipilam, Queen Momozi, without moving, without offender, Gaye can Jay Sally Parati, and Nariska, Emily Pipi, we Momozi. And she was, I remember, she was breathing. She was breathing. Inside the momos here, yo, the way it was nice. And you were wet, 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 and then we were holding each other tight, very tight. If you be challenging, if you challenge, I got you momos, yo. I can't forget that part, still the enjoyment. I ain't gay. A video. I am literally shocked listening to this married man who is married to Misali's mom, Upume. Now his name is Rene Shiba and he is originally from the Democratic Republic of Congo, hence why when he's speaking Zulu he has an accent. Now for my non-Zulu speakers, the Zulu part is him basically describing the moment that he put his private parts into her private parts and he's just describing how tight her private part is and how his thing couldn't move because he was enjoying it so much and on top of the fact that it was wet and they were getting closer holding each other tighter and he basically cannot stop thinking about what they did now the sad reality is he probably did this voice note while he was in the house with his wife that's the honest reality because 90 percent of men out there are cheating on their wives irrespective of how their wives look what their wives do for them who their wives are how much money their wives have how many kids they have men will cheat irrespective irregardless and the sad reality is he was cheating with his co-worker not clear who took out the voice notes but i have strong beliefs that it most likely is the side chick and i believe that there's something which happened between the side chick and michali's stepfather which went south and I have a strong feeling that she threatened him that if she doesn't get her way, he's going to see. And he most probably thought that, ah, what is this girl going to do? And she said, hey, hey, I have Mr. Kaula on speed dial. And I'm going to not only humiliate you, embarrass your family, but I want to tell the whole world that I have bomb cake too you know that you were literally going crazy for this honey you know and that was the best sort of revenge that you can ever do now obviously i don't condone this um this is very messy a lot of other people were involved however the reality is if you cheat this is the consequence of your actions. I mean, what were you thinking? What were you expecting? If you are cheating, you are already hurting your wife. What the side chick decides to do to add fuel to the fire is the result of your actions. You don't have to cheat. Now, another thing with this guy is, if you go on his IG, you see so many posts of him, his wife, and his child. Nothing wrong with that, but I always have a funny feeling about that page whereby a man just posts his wife. It comes off very performative, like, you know, I worship the ground that my wife walks and, you know, this is my wife. No one can do anything to her. Yet behind her back, you literally her biggest up. Like, come on, you embarrassing her. I would rather not be posted and behind my back, everyone knows how loyal my man is, than you posting me for the whole world to laugh at me behind my back saying, if only she knew. Because that's basically what this poor 
man was doing to Michali's mom. And the sad reality is, I don't think Michali's mom is ever going to recover from this because it's one thing to cheat, you know, because a lot of the times women want to know why did you cheat and now she basically has to hear another woman satisfies her man more than her because hey he he sounded like someone who went on a diet and then was given ice cream for the first time in five years you know it's just really really sad but i won't be surprised if by christmas they fix things they go for couple therapy someone tells her to be gazella and also he decides to be this new found christian who has decided that he's going to quit his porn addiction and just stick to his family but anyway we do wish them all the best obviously a family which is broken is nothing that we ever strive for we have come to the end of today's video don't forget to like subscribe and hit that post notification bell down below do let me know in the comments your thoughts Till next time, love and light. Mwah.